Yes, the 1954 film, The Fast and the Furious, you mentioned, was originally a crime film centered around fast and dangerous car races. It starred John Ireland and Dorothy Malone in the lead roles. Although sharing the same title as today's action film series, Fast and Furious, the 1954 film was quite different in terms of its plot and themes. The 1954 film, The Fast and the Furious, primarily focused on the character played by John Ireland, who attempts to escape from prison and flee to Mexico. This film was one of the popular car-themed crime movies of its time and was associated with the term, Fast and Furious, until the rights were acquired by Universal Studios. However, with the release of, The Fast and the Furious, in 2001, this term gained much wider popularity and is now commonly associated with the modern action film series. Yes, that's correct. Before Paul Walker was cast in the role of Brian O'Connor in, The Fast and the Furious, several different actors were considered. However, names like Mark Wahlberg, Christian Bale, and Eminem were also thought of for this role. Paul Walker's performance helped to elevate the character's popularity and played a significant role in the success of the Fast and Furious series. Yes, M.I.A. Toretto's role was initially written with Eliza Dushku in mind, but she turned it down. Before Jordana Brewster was cast in the role, several other actresses, including Natalie Portman, Sarah Michelle Gellar, Kirsten Dunst, Bijou Phillips, and Jessica Biel, auditioned for the part of M.I.A. Before the production of the film, neither Michelle Rodriguez, who portrayed the character of Letty, nor Jordana Brewster, who portrayed M.I.A., had driver's licenses. The producers of the film requested the homeowners in the background to repaint their houses with softer colors to make the colorful cars stand out more vividly. V.I.N. Diesel was actually 10 years older than the character he portrayed, Dominic Toretto, during filming. However, the character was supposed to be 24 years old. Paul Walker and Matt Schultzer meticulously prepared the choreography for the fight scene. However, when it came time to shoot, they improvised. The green Mitsubishi Eclipse that Paul Walker used in the opening film of the Fast and Furious series also appeared in some racing scenes in the film Sex Drive, seven years later. In the first street race, there are more than 15,000 individual sound effects. During filming, V.I.N. Diesel accidentally broke a stunt double's nose. Jess's Volkswagen Jetta, which was used in the film, was later purchased by Frankie Muniz. The safety bars inside the Mazda RX-7 used by V.I.N. Diesel in the film were removed because the actor couldn't fit into the car with them in place. In this film, there are more than 60 Japanese cars. The director of the film, Rob Cohen, made a cameo appearance as a pizza delivery man in the movie. The movie playing on the television at Don's house is, Dragon, the Bruce Lee story, directed by the film's director, Rob Cohen. When the film was first submitted to the MPAA, it received an R rating. As a result, some frames depicting Vince's severed arm from the final heist were cut.